Hi, I'm Larry Mestinek, founder of Tag Toys. And today I'd like to talk to you about one of our early learning toys that we call the giant knob shape puzzle. This is an excellent learning tool for a very young child. And shape puzzles have been made for decades and decades. And they've been made by many, many companies. However, I'd like to point out to you some of the features, the quality features that we have incorporated into our product. First of all, most of the puzzles that you'll find in the general marketplace have a very small knob, which is difficult for a young child to grasp. This is what we call a pincer movement, and a young child has not developed this ability yet. So what we use is what we call a giant knob. Now the advantages of this knob, number one, is with some of the uh, uh, puzzles that are in the marketplace, these knobs can come out. And if they do, they become a choking hazard. This is what we call a no-choke testing tube. And it is designed inside to simulate the structure of a child's throat so that any small part that can fit within the cylinder is considered a choking hazard. With the giant knob, even though it's not, it will not come out of the puzzle, which I'll describe in a minute, even if it were to come out, it still falls outside the parameters of the no-choke testing tube. Now the way we construct these puzzle pieces so that we can assure that the knob will not come out is we take the knob and we glue a, ho a hole all the way through the shape and all the way through the knob. Then we glue the knob into position and then we insert an eighth inch dowel all the way through both the shape and the handle so that this knob will not come out no matter how hard you pull. The only way to get it out would be to completely destroy this piece. In addition, we use on the surfaces what is called a high impact laminate. The common term is formica. When you paint any product, it's only a matter of time before the paint starts chipping off and the product shows a lot of wear. But with this surface, both on the base and on the puzzle pieces, you will not get any chipping and it is extremely highly resistant to scratching. But most importantly, it is washable and with a very young child, this is an important feature. Now to move on to the function of this product and to identify the learning goals, the first task is for the child to grasp. Now with a very young child, we have designed this knob with this rounded shape so that when the child reaches for the puzzle piece, it fits neatly into the child's palm and the fingers naturally grab. The child can lift the shape and has complete control of the shape and then can attempt, without concentrating on holding, can attempt to fit the shape into the space. This is very important for a young child to be able to use this grasping and holding sequence and fitting as opposed to trying to grasp a small knob. <clears throat> In addition, you'll see that this cutout below the shape is deep so that when the child fits it in, it seats itself firmly and the child has the feeling of, of a successful setting of the shape into the position. The best way to work with the child is to begin with one shape. Leave all of the shapes in the puzzle and remove one shape and have the child then just work and concentrate on that one shape. Grasping, holding, pulling, and refitting the shape. The next level of difficulty would be to use two shapes <clears throat> of similar appearance and yet different. The child will then begin to hold, grasp, and try to fit the shape into the proper position. 
And then you would progress from two shapes to three and on up to six so that eventually you get to the point where the child will be able to <coughs> select a shape and then <coughs> try to fit it into the position it belongs. <coughs> With each and every one of our products, we provide the parent with an instruction sheet. And the instruction sheet delineates the step-by-step -step process with which you will work with the child with this particular product. But most importantly, it outlines the learning goals that are associated with the product. In this case, the child will learn to grasp and hold, will learn to recognize the differences in shapes. It will be able to be introduced to colors, the differences in colors and the names of colors. And finally, develop the eye-hand coordination and the fine motor skills to successfully complete each task. When the child becomes proficient with the giant knob puzzle, we like to move them up to the next level of difficulty, which is a product that we call memory circles. And I mention this now only because it's important to understand that the TAG products are not just isolated products. The TAG product line is designed to take a child from a lower level of difficulty to a higher level of difficulty, and from that stage to the next level of difficulty. So our products are sequenced in terms of difficulty and learning skills. To find out more about the memory circles, you can go to our website, tagtoys.com, and search for memory circles.